Dear students, the fifth step in the analysis of organic compounds is the detection of functional group that is identification of functional groups present in the given organic compound. A functional group is an atom or group of atoms in a molecule that gives the molecule its characteristic chemical properties. The same functional group will undergo the same or similar chemical reactions regardless of the rest of the molecule's composition. Now let us see how to detect the functional groups present in the given organic compound. Action of Sodium Bicarbonate Take 1 ml of strong sodium bicarbonate solution in a test tube and add a little of the organic substance carefully into it. If you could observe a brisk effervescence like this, it indicates the presence of carboxylic acid. The chemistry behind the reaction is, carboxylic acids react with sodium bicarbonate solution, forming a salt and liberating carbon dioxide which causes the effervescence. Action of 20% sodium hydroxide solution Take a little of the substance in a test tube. Add 1 or 2 ml of 20% sodium hydroxide solution and reflex for 30 minutes. For reflexing, you need a condenser setup. Instead, you can do the reaction by heating in a water bath for 30 minutes. Cool it and acidify with concentrated hydrochloric acid. Formation of a white precipitate indicates the presence of aromatic amides and esters. The chemistry of the reaction is Amides and esters undergo alkaline hydrolysis to give alkali salt of acid. This alkali salt reacts with concentrated hydrochloric acid to give free aromatic acid which appears as a white precipitate. Action of concentrated sulfuric acid Take a little of the substance in a test tube. Carefully add few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid and heat it. If you could observe a black color, that is, charring with the smell of burnt sugar, it is an indication that the compound is carbohydrate. The black color is due to the formation of carbon by the dehydration of carbohydrates on heating with concentrated sulfuric acid. Instead, if the organic compound dissolves gradually on heating with concentrated sulfuric acid, it shows the presence of aromatic hydrocarbons. It is due to the formation of corresponding sulfonic acids. Action of soda lime Take a little of the substance in a dry test tube and add 1 gram of soda lime and heat it. Kerosene-like smell indicates that the compound is carboxylic acid. The chemistry behind the reaction is carboxylic acids on reaction with soda lime undergo decarboxylation and corresponding hydrocarbon compound is formed. The gas can be tested by a moist blue litmus paper which then turns to red. If the given compound is an amide, you will get an ammonia smell instead of 
kerosene like smell here the chemistry is amides are decomposed to give ammonia and the gas can be tested by a moist red litmus paper which then turns to blue action of metallic sodium take a little of the substance in a dry test tube dissolve it in dry benzene and add a piece of metallic sodium into it the formation of brisk effervescence indicates the presence of alcohol chemistry of the reaction is alcohols on reaction with metallic sodium sodium alkoxide and hydrogen are produced and the brisk effervescence is due to the formation of hydrogen gas action of neutral ferric chloride take a little of the substance in a test tube and dissolve it in alcohol one drop of this solution is added to about 2 ml of neutral ferric chloride solution violet blue or green coloration indicates that the compound is phenol and the color is due to the formation of a complex benzoic acid cinnamic acid thalic acid etc give a buff colored precipitate of basic ferric carboxylates on reaction with neutral ferric chloride solution action of borsch's reagent take about 2 ml borsch's reagent that is 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine in a test tube and add a little of the substance into it keep it in a boiling water bath for a while and add few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid yellowish orange precipitate shows the presence of aldehydes or ketones this yellowish orange precipitate is due to the formation of corresponding 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone of the aldehyde or ketone action of molisches reagent take a little of the substance dissolve it in water and add 2 drops of 1% alcoholic solution of alpha naphthol then carefully add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid along the sides of the test tube without shaking the formation of a violet ring at the junction of the two liquids indicate the presence of carbohydrates the chemistry behind the reaction is sulfuric acid dehydrates the carbohydrate and produce an aldehyde hydroxymethyl furfural which condenses with two molecules of alpha naphthol resulting in the appearance of a purple ring at the interface we have seen how to detect the functional groups present in a given organic compound by using sodium bicarbonate 20% NaOH solution concentrated sulfuric acid soda lime metallic sodium neutral ferric chloride borsch's reagent and molisch's reagent 
hope you understood all the experiments well thank you